Hello, welcome to today's tutorial where I'm going to teach you how to make some medieval braids. So let's start with the elements. We have our leg bits, one on either side, as you can see. We've got a little bit in the middle here called a gusset that's going to stop your pants from ripping. We have some cord up at the waist and one on each leg as well at the bottom. These are just little extra bits for your hose. Let's take some measurements. Uh, get the smallest part of your waist. Get the largest bit of your butt and hips. Time to figure out how long you want your braise to be. And then get your inner leg starting at the groin, going down to where you would prefer it to go to, and then get the thickest part of your thigh as well. Write that down. So here's some quick math for you. Uh, we've got our measurements here. This is what we're trying to achieve. So this is the pattern for one side of your legs. I have quartered my waist and hip measurements just to help me pattern it. So there's the hip and then I have my thigh measurement there and the inner leg as well. We want to make two of those and one gusset. So I've got my scissors, a pencil, you can use chalk, uh, measuring tape, and here is my material that I'm going to be working with. So I have this folded so I can make one side of each of my leg. So I'm going to start with the length and I'm just going to mark that out. Make sure you leave room for your seam. start at the waist. Um, I did have my waist measurement but I'm gonna add a few inches to make sure that my butt also fits through the waist. You are welcome to have this as tight as you like but just remember that your whole body is gonna have to fit through this. And then I'm gonna get the largest measurement for my hips. And then I'm just gonna draw that out, that curve there. And I'm going to grab the measurement for my thigh, measure that out. I'm also giving myself a few inches on all of these measurements just because I don't want these braids to fit perfectly to my frame. I do want it just a little bit bigger. And then there's your inner thigh seam. And then you can just draw that out. And there you have your pattern. I'm going to cut out two of those. So this is my cutout pattern. I probably should have ironed this. I apologize. And this is my gusset. You can make it as big or as small as you like. I make, like to make it a bit big because I do a lot of running around. Uh, and this is an example of where it's going to sit. So we're going to start by sewing our two bits of material together. We're going to sew those big curved bits together, so do that on each side. So here's mine, you can see, and you just have this really big tube now, like so. And then we're now going to sew the gusset onto one side of the leg. pin this together like so and then you can just sew that on and it'll look a little something like this so now we're just going to attach it to the other side we're just going to attach the legs together so make sure that point is right on your seam and then you can pin that all together all the way and then sew it all together and then you have your gusset and your legs sewn together, like so. It's a bit hard to see because this is white on white, I apologize. All right, now we're going to hem our waist. So fold it once and then fold it again, leaving about an inch so we can put our cord through that. So do that for your waist and your two legs. 
and leave a little gap in there as well because we're going to put our cord in there. So to make the cord, get some bits of material, fold it once just to meet in the middle, fold that other side. So make them both meet in the middle and then just fold that over once more. Pin all that together and sew on the edge. And then I have my three bits of cord to fit my waist and my two thighs. So to put the cord in to your pants, I've just put a little safety pin on one side. Find the little nook that you've made in your hemline and we're just going to feed that through. Push and pull and push and pull until it comes out the other end. And it's going to look a little something like that. So you're welcome to adjust this how you wish. Make sure your cord is big enough to fit through all three of your holes. Alright, so now the braids are pretty much done. Time to put them on. Thank you so much for coming to today's tutorial. I hope you enjoy your braids.